I saw this article and I almost I, I did a double take. I never thought I'd, there'd be the day where I saw the Twins potentially would have the, a higher payroll than the Los Angeles Dodgers for opening day. It's a scary thought. <laughs> uh, you know what? Our, our, uh, our ownership has always asked us to be responsible. And when, as long as we played in the Metrodome, we had some serious revenue limitations. Uh, we didn't have any suites. We didn't have any clubs. We didn't have any parking. We didn't have any signage. And um, so we had to operate responsibly and never apologize for it. We kind of relished the challenge. Uh, Target Field gives us some additional revenues, and our ownership has always committed a certain percentage of revenues to player payroll, so we've been able to increase this year, and we're thrilled about it. We like some of the additions that we've been able to do. You know, one of the things that uh, Orlando Hudson can bring is he's a great personality, but tell us about second base for your organization, what you had envisioned second place. If we had asked you that question, let's say in November, and compare it to the way you evaluate it now. Well, uh, our, our our best candidates were Nick Punto and Alexi Casilla, and I know I've read all the statistics on what our second base production was last year. Uh, Lando Hudson has a, a very proven track record. He's won four gold gloves. He gets on base. We really like the way the the lineup sets up, and with Hudson and, and Hardy up the middle, we're, we're going to have good defense, which is always important to our club. You know, I know you've you can't and you're not going to talk about Joe Maurer, but do you get frustrated at getting asked the question anyway? You're correct on the first part, and you're correct on the second part. <laughs> <laughs> I can empathize with you, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, one of the funniest aspects about it is a lot of people are talking about the Twins in terms of uh, no one's doubting the, the, your ability to get it done. And it's a compliment to the organization, and it's a compliment to the player because a lot of times when these things, you know, there's so many reporters that are trying to leak information, and you guys have both done a good job of making sure this all stays on a unified front. We talked about it early on, and, and it, it, it's been our policy for a number of years. We just don't think there's any benefit to negotiate any contracts through the media. Uh, we're better off to try and uh, work through the process, and it and it's definitely a process. And you, you know, you know as well as anyone, Jim, that you know it takes time. And so we're going to try and at the at the appropriate time, we're we're going to try and get it done. Uh, the, the best news is Joe Maurer signed for 2010, so uh, you know We've we're good that. to we're good to go. We're looking forward to reporting to spring training and and uh, getting getting the focus back on the field. <laughs> 